I'm going to spend most of my time tonight sharing something that's kind of been a, a popular uh, topic for us. And that's really talking about simulated pressures, which obviously everyone um, is really familiar with now. But uh, I'll just start by kind of showing, you know, our thought process behind it, why we want to use simulated pressures. You know, first, I'm starting here with an NFL clip um, of a team running a seven man pressure, a blitz. Obviously, big indicator here is the quarterback solid. And if the pressure doesn't win when you run a seven man pressure at the end of the day, you know, that's going to be tough to be successful. And you got a bunch of one on ones across the board. Yeah, certainly you want a winner in the protection. Um, but right here, you can see Russell Wilson's a good quarterback. If you have a good quarterback and a good wide out, it's going to be hard to stop. Um, you know, that same thing being said, if you just play your traditional four man rush, you know, seven guys in coverage, you know, that also can get beat and it doesn't always create the same confusion for a quarterback. Here's an Oregon uh, alum, Justin Herbert, against a four man rush, a seven man coverage, and he's got a big arm and he can still beat it. So, kind of the advent of you know that thought process rather than being a four-man rush or three-man with a four, fourth guy rushing team playing a seven-man coverage um, or being a seven-man pressure team we've gotten to where over the years we like creating four-man rushes right with different people so here's an example of us at George this past year you know somewhat we're moving from a three down to a four down front trying to create confusion for the quarterback but ultimately we're going to end up having two defensive linemen end up dropping and we're going to bring two guys off the ball. This past year, our inside linebackers were really good blitzers for us and we're able to recreate some of the, th the same things you would do with the traditional coverage, right? And be able to play, Hey, seven guys in coverage, right? With these guys in the back end, right? And then four guys in the rush, but we're able to do it with different people. And hopefully we can create some confusion for the quarterback in the way that we do it. Um, we're able to play traditional coverages with a non-traditional rush. So that's kind of been what we've taken over the years and really built off of. I think one thing to keep in mind, here's another picture of it. You know, both of our DNs dropping out, both of our linebackers blitzing. Again, the secret here, and I think everybody that's on this would, would admit, you know, at Georgia, we had really good players. Um, so it starts there. We had really good players at Georgia. We tried to figure out a way to make our players successful. But here's a kind of just a picture to kind of reiterate what, I'm saying that we do um, and what we've done and done more and more of over the last three and four years at Georgia and now that we'll do here at Oregon, you know, to the bottom left is really a picture of a traditional cover for a uh, coverage for us, a four down front. Really, we're playing a version of three deep zone. You know, you got your four defensive linemen up front that are rushing. Right. And then we're playing really uh, old school country cover three or rip Liz, as many of you are familiar with. And really what you have at the picture to the right is the exact same concept to me. You know, you have four man rush, um, but the difference is how you're doing it. Really, this money backer is really becoming the nose. You know, this nose is really truly becoming the defensive end, right? And this outside linebacker, he's becoming a dropper when it's passed, um, but still shows up in the run support for run. And then we're adding an extra hat in the box with our, our boundary safety here. So, uh, that's the idea behind what we're what we're doing with these uh, coverages. And I'm just going to start really by how we coach our blitzers, because I think that's really important. 